money, I'm revving. Great, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. B2 Fighting Series fans, this amateur super heavyweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. Tonight, in the B2 cage, making his amateur debut. His height, six feet, four inches. His weight, 299 pounds. He trains with Cobra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and comes to you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. His name is Sean Mason. And his opponent, out of the one more gym red corner. His record stands at one win and zero losses. His height, six feet, two inches. His weight, 284 pounds. He trains with 601 Jiu Jitsu and comes to you from Lisman, Alabama. His name is Solomon Nice until I'm not Smith. How entertaining is Solomon Smith, Andy? I mean, we can go on and on and on, but just let the camera do the work for us. Man. That's right, man. Here we go. Don't blink. Do not blink in this fight. Solomon Smith in the black Under Armour tights. Sean Mason in the black and blue shorts. Solomon Smith right away closing the distance. Mason said he wanted to prevent the takedown. Solomon Smith got double underhooks here. Well on his way to a takedown. That looked like an illegal knee. That was really close. Nonetheless, and there you see Solomon on a snatch single, working off that big oh. lift. My goodness, how do you get that man up off the ground like that? How do you get a lift like that man. just off a low single? Right. <laughs> Looking like Daniel Corbin. And is Solomon, Solomon's up here look, talking to us, I think. Ooh, good shots. And Sean Mason, he's trying he to He needs to get move. his hooks in. There he goes. Solomon on his hooks now. Solomon Smith working to flatten out Sean Mason. Got to thank that referee, Bobby Wambacher. He's looking in, taking a deep, hard look at this fight. He is. He, look, he got hit a few good times. A lot of them has been hitting the forearm and the glove. Sean's doing the right thing. He, he What I was start is. doing is bumping, right? Well, he's high. Solomon was high. I can't tell if it's underneath the chin or not. I don't believe it is. No, Sean Mason, he's doing a good job of fighting the hands right job. now. But Solomon just all over Sean Mason right now. Couple short shots at ground and pound landing. Oh, Solomon Smith on his back now. Is Sean Mason going to be able to finish on top? He grabbed the cage right then. I don't think Bobby Wambacher saw that. And I wonder if Sean Mason knows that he's allowed to throw elbows because he had the opportunity to throw a good couple right there. Well, I was in the rules meeting earlier, and they talked about it. They definitely talked to him multiple times about, hey, man, you're an amateur, but you can still throw elbows as a pro rule set, a unified pro rule set. And so, yeah, he knows he can throw elbows. But at the same time, a lot of these guys that fight in different organizations where an amateur, you, a lot of times you can't even ground and pound. Look at so Solomon. It's different. Look at Solomon right now. See, I don't know if I would be doing that, man. Look, Sean Mason fought Golden Gloves. He, he's got good hands. He's a big boy. All it takes is that one, right? you got to take that guy serious, man. Right here was Solomon. I, oh, he snatched him down. That was a good snatch down. Very nice snap right there for Solomon Smith. Spins, takes the back. He's just like laying the ground and pound right here. Yep. Think that maybe Sean Mason might be fading. He's and over. that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Is, is Bobby Wambacher saying time? Oh, it's time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bobby's saying time. Uh, We're going to get an explanation. Oh, back of the head. Back of the head. Referee Bobby Wambecker saying, watch the back of the head. Bobby Wambecker is yeah. one of the best in the business. Absolutely one of the best in the business. He says, I'm not taking a point from you. I'm just letting you know. Don't do it. You know, it really seems like Solomon's close, closing the distance fairly well. He's getting that body lock, but then he's letting it go. But, I mean, with that snap single that he had, right, man, there Here he goes you see again. again double under yep. hooks for Solomon Smith. Putting Sean Mason's back on the cage. Ooh, good uppercut. Yeah, ripping uppercut. That was a good hook by Sean Mason as well. Oh, big headlock. Oh! oh. Sean Mason's getting right back up. Man, to be heavyweights, these yes. guys are super heavyweights. Actually, these guys are going at it. And, you know, it looks like, at least within the grappling department, Sean Mason, the technique is not quite there. But, I mean, Sean Mason's got heart. No, you, no doubt about it. 
Well, look, he has some great, good, really good transitions on the ground. Yes. I mean, to be a white belt and to be new in jiu-jitsu, he showed some pretty good stuff on the ground. Lots of blood on the eye of Solomon Smith there. Yep. But, you know, these big guys, it don't take much to cut you Right. Up. And here you see the lift. Look, I mean, John Mason just completely airborne right there, Solomon Smith. Do you think that guy's got some strength in him? Man, the power to have that single at the knee and to pick a big man up My like God. Sean Mason, that's incredible strength. His wrestling looks good. I feel like he needs to take it a little bit more serious, but that's how he is. That's his personality. Yeah. He's in there having a good time, man. And good on him. You come out yeah. here, you put in the work, you go through a training camp, you deserve to come out here and have a good time. Now, if you stand there and, and look at your opponent and he throws one that you don't see and you get laid out, that's on you. Well, here's the thing, too, what I've noticed. When, Solomon, when Solomon's closing the distance in, right, Sean is, is going straight back. He's not trying to create the angle to get out of the zone or off the table. I feel like if he would create the z uh, angle to get off the table and throw that uppercut or throw that cross, he might have that angle to hit Solomon, but he's not. He's coming straight back. He's not throwing any kind of offensive strikes, and that's why Solomon's been able to close the distance and get that body lock or the double underhooks. I'm going to be honest, Andy. If, if I had to bet, I would not have bet that this fight would have seen the second round. Well, I called it. It kind of made me look stupid because I was like, don't blink on this one. <laughs> and here I, we are in the second. I so. would not have thought that to be the case. And Sean Mason right away coming out aggressive. That was a good jab by Sean, but he ate one as well. He ate a counter cross. And on his facial expression, it looked like he liked that too much. Yeah. And here we see the same thing from Solomon Smith, double underhooks on the cage. Nice body. Oh, that's on the cup. There was two shots right there on the cup. Another shot on the cup. He's got to get them up, man, and Bobby will end up warning him about that. He's already warned him about the back of the head. You have to be in control of your weapons at all times. Big knee to the body there for Solomon Smith. Now, Sean Mason pummeled in for an underhook. Improved this him around. over under position and turns. Sean Mason improving as the fight goes on. He's got to keep pummeling in, though, right? He can't stay there and let Solomon have them double unders like that. He needs to pummel in. Them little shots to the body. That's doing nothing, man. He needs to pummel in like he did before and try to reverse this situation. There, oh, good elbow. Nice break and elbow right there for Sean Mason. Solomon Smith, good head position, right side underhook. Both guys with right side underhooks now. And then, no matter how this fight ends, I'm impressed with the heart of both fighters. I am too. Sean Mason had 100 opportunities to get out of that fight in the first round. Yeah, he did. I'll tell you this, though. I I'm impressed with their cardio to be as big yes, as these guys absolutely. are. Yes, absolutely. Their cardio is really good. You can tell these guys really train hard, yes. and they take this very seriously. Super heavyweights here halfway through the second round. You don't see that a lot. You don't. Solomon looks like he's trying to control that wrist. Well, I thought he was going to try to control the wrist to get the Kimura. But he's happy right here. Sean's doing a good job by ha having the knee high. He, he needs to have the left, the left knee up to prevent the mount. Look, Solomon Smith, I mean, he's falling off and just laughs, man. He's just having a good old time. Oh, he's bloody a little bit. He's tasting that blood. He's like, heck yeah, man, this is it. Oh, now he's got the back. Sean Mason turns, gives up his back right there. Solomon Smith with the hook and wrist control. Oh, good a shot. On the ground and pound. This one might be over yeah. soon. He's high. Yeah, Mason not really doing much to work to improve. Sean but, needs to start shaking yeah. to get him off, man. He's really high. He could go out the back door right here. That was in the ear. That was a good shot on the ear. It's got to hit the ear, as Andy says. But look, man, as big as these guys are, them little shots, they're devastating shots. Oh, they're yes. They're hard shots, especially to the ear. Oh, good Ground shot. Ground and pound right there. And that's that's it. Yeah, good stoppage there from referee Bobby Wambacher. Great stoppage. Blood everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and Solomon Smith comes over and gives us a little bow. Solomon Smith improves to 2-0. and Sean Mason drops his amateur debut, but, of course, has nothing to be ashamed of. Look at the face of Solomon Smith. I mean, blood all over him. You could tell that Sean Mason really had some good attacks there in that fight. He did, man. He's not breathing hard. Like you said, he needs to hold his head up. He had a lot of good moments in the fight. Solomon is just a beast, but I feel like Sean improves his ground. He's going to be right there with him. The stand-up is about even. Agreed. The ground was, I mean, look, Solomon dominated, but like I said, man, Sean Mason has some really good moments on the ground. And it, he's showing his hard work. I'm glad he's with Cobra. He needs to be with uh, with, with Curtis Taylor. He'll get his ground right. And he, I think he's well on his way to becoming a really good amateur fighter. Yeah, and uh, as you said, we here at B2 Fighting Series, we're big fans of, of Cobra. A lot of good fighters come from that gym. And, you know, Sean Mason, s stick with it, man. Stay with the program, and you're going to improve and become a, a good fighter. It's no big deal. 
Man, in the back earlier, I saw Solomon doing cartwheels. As big as that guy is, yes. man, he's so athletic. He's a, he's, a, he's a freak of nature is what he is. Yes, he is. And we saw that tonight. I look forward to having this guy back. I'm pretty sure he'll hit the top ten in our rankings, in the South rankings. I think that's probably a, a safe bet. And, again, you can only find those rankings online, v2fs.com. Uh, I think we've got our scorecards now. No scorecards needed. But Lance Green's going to have something to read out. We're going to get to the official decision. Now here's Lance Green. B2 Fighting Series fans, your referee, Bobby Wambacher, has brought a stop to this fight. Two minutes and 25 seconds into the second round by way of TKO due to strikes. Your winner, out of the one more gym rag corner, Solomon Nice until I'm not. Solomon Smith moves to 2 and 0. Sean Mason drops his amateur debut. With the same ones that was down from the jump day was same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one. 